what is up y'all i hope you're doing amazing out there i'm dusty this is fox holler homestead and today we have a pretty cool project we're working on now anybody remember the swing that we built with that being said as you look at this the swing hangs way out there now it's really hard to get on i have to get down and pull the ropes up and actually get down onto the stump and uh kids kind of have to climb up on top of me to get onto the swing well we're gonna build a deck now we have a bunch of stringers, a bunch of wood, all of which we actually got from Lowe's, which was really cool. It was all free, all pressure treated, all brand new wood. And they had a display out front, which was awesome. Um, they, I just happened to drive by or be by Lowe's when they were taking this uh, display down. I asked them what they were gonna do with the wood. They said they were gonna toss it. No, not gonna happen. So loaded it all up in my truck, couple grand worth of wood at these wood prices. And uh, now, We've been using them periodically here and there. Well, this is the perfect idea. So what we're gonna do is take these stringers and uh, as you can see, there's a giant mud pit right there. It's a huge slope that goes down. We're gonna build out some steps and a deck just high enough for anybody and everybody that wants to get on this swing to do their thing. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. See, this is what good friends do. <laughs> Dig down in the nasty mud with their hands. Yeah. So the idea, as you guys can probably already figure out, maybe it, maybe you haven't, is uh, these two by four, four by fours that are treated. Um, these are going to be the face of the deck uh, of which we'll have the stringers actually come up maybe build a small little deck up here and the swing comes about five feet so we're gonna actually have to chop these off a little bit nothing that a chainsaw can't handle and it doesn't need to be perfect as far as the cuts go because it's a mountain swing and that's how we do it so can you go get two bottles of water how many bottles do you need
as you can see, we're getting there. We're putting the, got the stringers up. All we need to do is uh, secure everything, start putting the steps on, and I think, uh, I think we're gonna try it. Um, there's a couple different things I think that we could probably do as far as the steps right here. There's a muddy step right here over to get over there, but the reality of it is, is the number one tippy top thing was getting the stairs up there big enough to where we can get out on this uh, swing. So let's keep going. All right, we are completed with the launch. Now, uh, there's only one person that I know that can test this out, and that would be little Caden. So, we're at, uh, let's get Caden up there and uh, see how it works. Come on, Caden. <laughs> yeah, those ropes are ropes are kind of an issue, but uh, can I go on? Maybe we'll cut the rest of those short and leave that one hoop one on there. What do you think, babe? Can I go on? Yeah. Well, there you go. We finished it. As you can see, the stairway to the most amazing, amazing, phenomenal, stupendous swing in the entire forest, in the entire world, in the entire universe. Whatever. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stick with that. But uh, we really appreciate each and every... You're going to make me do this again. No! You know no, I have... do it! You know I have, like, just twitchy loop syndrome. It. Loop it. Anyway. We got nothing but love for each and every one of you out there. <laughs> If this is your first time visiting us, please go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, join us on this journey, become a member of the Fox family, and uh, until next time, I'm Dusty, this is Fox Holler Homestead, and uh, we'll see you soon. <laughs>